This is the K-Rain RPS 75 adjustable arc rotor designed for residential and light commercial applications. In this video, I'm going to discuss its features, show you how to change out a nozzle, and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. I'm holding the K-Rain RPS 75 adjustable arc rotor. It is reliable, it's known for its durable design, and it's the foundation of K-Rain's RPS rotor line. It's built to perform trouble-free for years. The RPS 75 has a pop-up height of four inches, and it has a three-quarter inch inlet. You can set the pattern anywhere from 40 degrees to 360 degrees. It has a watering distance of 22 to 51 feet, depending on the nozzle installed and how the adjustment screw is set. It also comes with a wide selection of standard and low angle nozzles that provide even water distribution across your entire landscape. Let's talk about the various adjustments. You'll use a rotor key just like this one to make the adjustment. Looking at the top of the rotor, this is the radius adjustment slot. Use the metal part of the key right here to adjust the watering distance. This is the keyhole. Use the plastic part of the key to pull up the riser. This is the arc adjustment slot. Use the plastic part of the key to change the pattern, also called the arc. This K-Rain RPS rotor is also a great match for a Hunter PGP-80J. If you can't get a PGP like you want, you can swap out a broken one for one of the K-Rain rotors and you can leave the can in the ground because the cans are identical. Let's take a look at those adjustments in action. So first, we'll change out a nozzle. To start, insert the plastic end of the K-Rain tool into this lifting socket. Twist and pull up. I'm using a hold-up collar, but you can hold the riser up with your hand if you don't have one. Insert the metal end of the tool into the raised rubber cap at the front of the rotor to back out the screw. Pull out the nozzle with a pair of needle nose pliers. Insert the new nozzle at a slightly downward angle and push it into the rotor with your finger. These little guides that accept the raised adjustment screw need to go toward the top. Screw the raised adjustment screw back down. Get it down just far enough that it barely touches the hole in the center of the nozzle. And let the riser back down. Now with the water on, use the raised adjustment screw to adjust your watering distance. The spray from this rotor should reach the next rotor over. Even if you do want the maximum distance from this rotor, still have this screw far enough down to diffuse the stream. You can turn the top back and forth to see how the pattern is set. To change the pattern, also called the arc, insert the plastic end of this rotor tool into the arc adjustment slot and turn it clockwise to increase or counterclockwise to decrease the size of your arc. And that is the K-Rain RPS 75 rotor. Order your RPS 75s on Sprinkler Warehouse today. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.